high profile move, not to rugby itself, but to NFL, uh, Reese Samit to the Kansas City Chiefs as a running back. Um, what do you make of that? And do you think it will, you know, obviously it's good for him financially. Yeah, how, do you think, how do you think it will yeah, play out? Absolutely brilliant. I, uh, I do you think he'll be back? I was super excited when I, when I saw it break. <laughs> um, I think it's brilliant for him. He's, he's, you know, he said he grew up with the NFL. His father was a big NFL fan. Um, so he's grown up with all those role models. You know, for him, it comes along, it gives you an opportunity to go away to America yeah. and try yeah. out, you know, some a sport you've loved and watched all your life. You're yeah. going to bite his hand off. So I am super excited. I think, I think, he, genuinely, I think, he, you know, if he, he'll get an opportunity, I think, I think he'll rip it up. Um, yeah. I've seen clips of him in training um, and he's beating people. He's beating people on the pitch, one-on-one, uh, in, on rugby pitches, you know. He's, he's going to have he's going to have guards running with him, taking plays out for him. <laughs> so you know he's going to. I think I think if, you know if he gets a bit of space, I think he's coming back as a as a return player, kicker as he or running back as he running back. Yeah. So back. yeah, I think he's going to rip it up. I think he's going to beat people. You know, I think he's going to surprise people. He's rapid, isn't he? Yeah, I, I'll be there watching the first game when he gets his first start. <laughs> you know, I think the, my son is loving it as well. Similar sort of age. Yeah, he's yeah. super excited. I think he's going to rip it up. And yeah, and I see, see hope he does. Because yeah. um, you know, if he can go there and make a career out of it for say four seasons, and then maybe want to come back and do a, a different, another cycle of maybe with Wales and then potentially Lions as well, yeah. you know, good for him. Brilliant. That's it, isn't it? There's no. It doesn't mean the door shut, does it? You know, um, he could go over there, like you say. Uh, it depends on how it goes. He can always come back over. Yeah, he's been back this week. He's been in the Taylor Swift uh, yeah. concert. <laughs> he was, like, yeah. was he? Yeah, yeah. Wembley. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Come back for it. Big tattoo as well, yeah. isn't it? I think. Yeah, I saw him in the. Yeah. 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 Good friend. Shop in the You know, she shop. It's eight now. You know, plane riding. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's your family over here. Your friends over yeah. here. He'd be back and forth. You know, yeah. and you know, great, great for Wales. Great exposure for Wales as well. Great yeah. for him. On, yeah, great for Welsh rugby as well. Yeah, taking Welsh rugby into America now. Puts Wales on the map as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you think there's a bit of a risk though with all the stuff we've just talked about that that door is going to become wider for other players to do the same thing and maybe kind of down beat a little Especially bit? Especially, I, th- I think he's success. fortunate. I think he's, he's super switched on here, and he, I think he understood at a young age that yeah. he needed yeah. to be as fast as he could. Yeah, um, and I think he saw that, and, and I'd, I'd done the sprint training. To understand that, so yeah. when he started playing rugby, I went and went to Harpery. You know, he was he was quick, and then got quicker. Yeah, and, and got good people around him to help him get quicker. He went off to America to do the sprint, extra sprint coaching. So I think he's had good people around. He's a good advice, um, which has allowed him to thrive as a winger. In you know, if, if it's going to be much more difficult if if you're probably a forward to mm. transition, you know, into NFL. Sure, yeah. um, I think because he's so quick. Um, especially over that 30, first 30 metres. And he's got that agility and ability to beat people. I think it's, it's been easy for him to transition. I think I don't think that'll be easy for other players to do that. Okay, so you don't um, think it's going to be a mass exodus of you know players? I think potentially there might be a few people overlooking it in Wales and going, well, yeah. there might be some athletes out there that think, right, yeah, I need to get quicker. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's certainly something that, if you look at sort of Rio Dyer, you look at the Welsh wingers, you know, they're quick, running sort of sub-11. But I think the difference with... with with him is he's running ten four, you know. Mm-hmm. So and that's taking him to the next level and giving the opportunity to yeah. to get into that sport. Yeah, you know, uh, Reese Lightning is his new nickname over there. Yeah, but it's also good. speed of movement. See what he's got is he got speed of movement on feet, his agility. Yeah, you know, with flexible the, he, hips. He's worked that. Yeah, he's worked on that in, in that rugby background. So I think that's what probably is has made him stand out is, is his ability to beat players. 